Apple has at least two augmented reality initiatives in the works. There will be two types of augmented reality hardware available on the market by 2023. A headset and a pair of glasses. Before the release of its augmented reality glasses in late 2024, Apple is currently working on the design of its glasses. It, this feels kind of like wrong, like to just be in bed and like see my phone like on my face. Apple's rumored mixed reality headset might make switching between AR and VR simple. Tim Cook, an industry giant, has joined the ranks of people who think the metaverse is overhyped. Apple's CEO said to the Dutch newspaper Bright, I always feel people must know what something is. I said, the average person probably couldn't explain the metaverse. The term metaverse is commonly used to describe virtual reality platforms where users can participate in social activities, conduct business, shop for goods, and play games while immersed in a 3D digital environment. Yet, Apple has not revealed any details about its future plans for the metaverse. Apple's AR glasses could be pushed back to 2025 or 2026 amid design issues, says analysts. Essentially, such virtual environments already exist. But even if this is the case, many of the world's top IT companies are already hard at work creating the hardware and software required for customers to devote substantial time and energy to the metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's creator, and Meta, his firm, have spent a lot of time and money on the idea of a metaverse. Microsoft and Disney, two media behemoths, have already started preparations for the metaverse. Many, however, contend that the metaverse's intense appeal is in part due to the unknowns of its own future. The theory is so vague that in June, former Google CEO Eric Schmidt said, there's no agreement on what the metaverse is. Snap CEO Evan Spiegel has described the idea of a metaverse as fuzzy and hypothetical. His focus instead is on augmented reality, the process of augmenting one's experience of the real world with the addition of computer-generated visuals superimposed on top of it. Additionally, it has been speculated that Apple is working on a virtual reality headset that might be released in 2023. Cook told Bright that the future applications of augmented reality would be much, much more. Cook foresaw a massive shift in the market due to AR's disruptive potential. Imagine the potential of augmented reality as a teaching tool, such as in a hospital, a lab, a school, etc. Cook said, as I indicated before, we will look back and wonder how we ever got along without AR. Cook spent time in both the United Kingdom and Germany and found that discussions about the metaverse were commonplace. When asked by an audience member whether he thought augmented reality would be as pervasive and indispensable as the internet has, Cook said that he thought it might. Looking back, you may wonder how you survived without augmented reality, as Cook called it. To this day, we can't help but wonder how did people like me grow up before the internet? There haven't been any rumors about Apple's anticipated augmented reality smart glasses in a while. That implies we won't meet them for another several years. Apple's VR and AR glasses can be the first to launch. The name Glass OS was suggested for an operating system tailored to Apple glasses, and it made it into the final release of iOS 13. Here is everything else that has been theorized about Apple glasses including when they will be available, how much they will cost, what they will look like, and what they will be able to do. Apple can be able to build and deploy a VR or MR headset faster than Apple glasses. Prototype users of Apple's upcoming virtual reality and mixed reality headsets have praised the screen's high quality and the audio's convincing nature. Those same sources claim that the headset looks like a slimmer, fabric-wrapped Oculus Quest. However, the design is currently undergoing testing to achieve a comfortable fit for the largest possible variety of head sizes. We don't have a price in mind, but it won't be cheap. At only $399, the Quest is value when put next to the $799 HTC Vive and the $3,500 Microsoft HoloLens 2. The helmet cost is anticipated to range from $1,000 to $3,000. There has been speculation that Apple's next virtual reality and mixed reality headgear may ship with its own app store. 
where users can purchase and download content like games, video streaming services, and messaging programs. Siri, Apple's virtual assistant, will be the main method of operation. Control options include a traditional remote and ones that detect movement of the user's body, which are reportedly undergoing preliminary testing. The virtual reality goggles are scheduled to debut the following year and hit store shelves in the middle of 2022. An Apple senior software developer named Greg Joswick has hinted that something extra might be shown on March 8th. Although it has been widely assumed that Apple is developing its own VR or AR headset, it is still being determined whether or not this is in reference to Apple glasses. Also, an Apple patent has sparked speculation that a company's next smart glasses, Apple glasses, won't need prescription lenses since they'll include an optical sub-assembly that corrects for near- and far-sightedness mechanically. This patent might refer to Apple's next-generation smart glasses, or it could be for standalone virtual reality headgear powered by a smartphone. According to a recent patent, Apple may deploy a device that projects visuals directly into the user's eye. Consequently, Apple could avoid using a transparent display. The beam will also keep the picture in sharp focus, so dual-purpose screens with eyewear functionality will be extra. Another patent by Apple describes a feature similar to Zoom that allows users to switch their backdrop instantly. Chroma keying, which may be used to alter the backdrop color of a solid color to another, is shown in his patent as a method that might be implemented in a headset. An Apple Glass patent describes how the headgear will format camera photos, identify the specified color range, and construct a composite with the virtual content. Along the lines of Google Street View, this might provide access to inaccessible locations throughout the globe. This vision, however, would appear directly on the eyeglasses of Apple's upcoming glasses product. A digital teleportation is also a viable option for visiting new locations, while Apple's Maps app has a similar function called Look Around, using it with Apple Glasses would be far more entertaining. According to a recently published patent, Apple Glasses might have dynamic backdrop switching capabilities similar to Zoom. One of Apple's wackier patents claims that the depth sensors included in Apple Glasses will improve nighttime visibility. Additionally, Apple has invented smart rings that may make it simpler for Apple Glasses to monitor your hand and finger motions. That will eliminate the need for several external sensors, if any, and might improve the system's accuracy. Apple's continued success in a patent arena lends credence to its plans to include wearables in its product lineup. The Apple Glasses may also respond to the user's hand gestures since the rings can detect what the user is holding. The glasses are able to detect the Apple Pencil in your hand and translate your handwriting into digital form. Apple included the phrase private eyewear in its most recent patent. An indication of smart glasses may be Apple Glasses and their potential utility in concealing the contents of an iPhone display. According to the patent illustration up top, the goal is to make the iPhone screen unclear until seen via a pair of Apple's smart glasses. Will Apple glasses replace the current VR? Or is this another failed attempt, just like the metaverse was? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.